Hey everybody, I'm Phil. This is Sam. We're Bars and Barbells, and we got more Gary Moore. I'm excited for this one. We're doing the live version of the song that you guys were commenting relentlessly on, saying that we should have done the live version. Yeah. But we got exposed to Still Got the Blues. Did the music video. Now, it's not our fault that they cut out certain sections of the video, and it actually yeah. is really frustrating. I can't believe I do that. And like, we never know in advance, right? Until after the fact when we've done it and you guys let us know, but it's just so frustrating because why would you ever want to cut that out? Right. Uh, it's clearly for marketing purposes yeah. that they're like, oh, let's shorten it yeah. down so we can put it on the radio. I yeah, assume yeah, fair. that's probably the reason. But <laughs> if you like the music, I mean, if you're, if you're a fan of Gary Moore, right? You know, he's an epic guitar player. Mm-hmm. That's probably and why you're mostly listening yeah, to the song. It's like, why would you cut that out from the fans? You know what I mean? It's yeah. it's crazy. It's also a different, like, a radio edit. You know, it should be like a radio edit. They should call it radio edit. They should call it official music video. And the music video still has him playing the guitar. Yeah, for sure. Even if they don't want to show him playing the guitar, just have it as like an outro or something mm-hmm. like that. Yeah. And then they should, you know, they should have the studio version. Uh, and that will obviously have the full version. Anyways, we're doing the live version. Live at Montreux, 1990. And uh, this is one that you guys are recommending that we got to get to. So we're going to do it now. And uh, I'm excited because Gary Moore, I think I said in the last one, he's significantly underrated. Some people were like, he's not underrated. He's rated where he should be. But I just have never heard of him before. Maybe that's just me. But I mean, I had heard of somebody like Jimi Hendrix, right? I had heard of somebody like Van Halen. I I hadn't heard of uh, Stevie Ray Vaughan. But, you know, I feel like Gary Moore, maybe because of where he's from, you know, He's from Europe. Maybe that's why he wasn't as popular. Yeah, maybe just we never heard about him in over commercially. On this side of the pond. Yeah. So, anyways, let's go. You ready? I am. Let's do it. to be so easy to give my heart away but I found out the hard way there's a price you have to pay but I found out that love was no friend of mine Should have known time after time. So love, it was so long ago, but I've still got the blues for you. To be so easy to fall in love again, but I found out the hard way it's a road that leads to pain. I found out that love was more than just a game. Playing to win, but you lose just the same. Let's go. So love, it was so long ago, but I've still got the blues for you. Get it, Gary. So many years since I've seen you face. You in my heart, there's an empty space we used to
But I still got the blues for you. How's your vibe going, Samantha? It's good. He's so good live. Yeah, he's great. Uh, really seamless transition from what we heard to what we're hearing. Mm-hmm. And I just love the way Gary transitions from one note to the next. It seems so smooth. I just love how he tells the story with mm-hmm. his guitar. And, and the passion. Uh, he just brings the energy. I love yeah. it. And uh, like you said, great vocal on, on the live performance mm-hmm. as well. And he's then we've got even... It. A lot of the instrumentation there. You got the brass section lighting it up, mm-hmm. and uh, Gary's doing his thing. I'm, yeah, I'm, it I'm really loving good. it, and I'm excited because I think we got a, a solo coming towards the end here. Because I think the last one that we did was maybe four and a half minutes, so that's why I wanted to yeah, pause it now. True. Get you prepared <laughs> before the build up. <laughs> I haven't heard it, but I mix my expectations are high. <laughs> I just I, Gary's like I said, definitely one of my favorites. Just the way he plays the guitar is yeah, so soulful. So good. Yeah. And uh, you know, even I know his you, voice though sounds so soulful too. It does, and I know you've been saying you like the blues a lot, right? Yeah. More recently, this the, is. You liking this one? I am. Is are you a Gary Moore fan? I would say I've been yeah converted to a Gary Moore fan. <laughs> well, maybe you guys have to recommend some more then yeah. for Samantha because she's clearly a big <laughs> Gary Moore fan and uh, blues in general. Like I said, you've got you hadn't really been exposed to that prior no, to the channel, right? No, not really. No. Yeah. All right. Well, you ready to see what we got coming? I am. Let's do it. Let's do it. There is one thing I know I've still got the blues for you Go, Gary.
Man, I wish I had been able to see Gary Moore live. Yeah. yeah so R.I.P. to Gary. Incredible. Yeah, I, I would. I think I would have really enjoyed you know that show because even when he's playing the solo aspect, I feel like he almost makes a song within the solo. Yeah. You know, he has like the intro portion. He's got mm-hmm. the meat and potatoes of it, the main section, and the outro portion. Yeah. And uh, so I like, you know, it's like two songs in one almost, right? Because you have the still got the blues song, mm-hmm. and then he gets into like it's his mini solo. song. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And, no, he's uh, incredible. Like such a talented individual. Yeah, and uh, it's such a different vibe than you know. Like I said, we've heard a lot of solos, but I think he's got a hundred percent his own unique style of the way he you know plays, and I really enjoy it. Yeah, no, me too. He's like blew my mind. Blew your mind. Even though I've already heard this, like it just blew it again. Well, we didn't hear the the solo. Though, yeah, the no, end, no, no, right? no. The so. song, the song itself. Um, like I kind of was like, oh, I kind of know what to expect, back, but it just sounded. I didn't expect it to sound that good live. Yeah, it's great. And I so, was like, Pew. so you're you're had another impressive performance in your opinion from Gary. Two thumbs up from me. That would be the same for me as well. Hopefully, it was the same for you, and a thumbs up for us would be great too. <laughs> And uh, leave us a comment. Let us know what you think about this one. I'm sure you guys love it as much as we did. And uh, if you got any other recommendations for Gary Moore, let us know. Drop them below. Yep. And um, we did another one. Uh, what was it called? The Messiah? Um, I can't remember the name of the song now. The I Return of the Messiah yeah. or something like that. Um, something like that. I think it was from it the was same so concert. But that was the one where he didn't have any lyrics. It was just the Yeah, part. no, but I was just yeah. saying, like, you should check that out if you haven't seen it. Yeah. That was the first time we got introduced to him. We were like, who is this guy? It's probably coming up now, but it was it was fire. So I've been super impressed with Gary Moore. I'd love to hear more of him. Love his sound. Mm-hmm. Anyways, that's it from us today, guys. We'll be back with another one soon. See you next time.